last video of the course we're going to see how to take the matched move scene that we matched in the previous video and we're going to combine it with the mesh that we exported from PF Track. So let's go into Maya and see how to do that. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the PF Data group and then we're going to put it in a layer. So I'm going into the display layers, making sure that my PF Data group is highlighted. And I'm going to click on this button, which will create a layer and that layer will automatically store the object that is highlighted in the outliner. So I'm going to click on this, double click, I'm going to paint it yellow and I'm going to give the layer the name render underscore cam. So we know that this is where the render cam is going to be. I'm going to click on save and for the time being I'm going to turn off the visibility. What we're going to do now is we're going to match our grouped camera with its proxy geometry that is stored in this layer. We're going to match it to the geometry that was generated from PF Track, and it is right here. We'll go back to our layers and we're going to bring back our render cam group and we see here that we have the definition of this part of the furnace and we also have a cube that is the proxy geometry of that so let's bring it over here and we see that the camera is actually pointing to the side so we're going to take the whole group we're going to rotate it around about 90 degrees and then we're going to try to match it to the same orientation of the geometry that came from the Alembic file now we can take our translate tool and move our proxy geometry and we'll try to match it to the geometry that came from the Alembic file. Now the only problem is that our proxy geometry is smaller in size in comparison to the geometry that came from the Alembic file. So we're going to have to take our whole group and scale it on all three axes. Let's try with three. Now three might be a little bit too much so let's go back to about 1.5 and then let's see if we can match it properly. So with 1.5 it seems that it's matching almost perfectly to what we have in comparison to the Alembic file. We might need to rotate it a tad more, just a little bit, just like that. And we can take the scale if we think the scale is a little bit too high and try to match it to 1.3 and then match it again to what we see with the Alembic file. At this point we can say that our scene is matching to the geometry and you might think what is it good for? This kind of setup is good because we can later on pass it to the layout artist who will use it in order to generate the proper layout for the scene as well as using the generated maps that we created in PF Track, put them back into Maya and then later on the rendering wranglers can use it in order to produce additional renders for the compositors. This is it you guys, you made it through this plus level course of PF Track. In this course we saw how to work with the photogrammetry tools that PF Track has to offer. Don't forget that there are other courses in our website that you can purchase and enjoy. I'm Michael Rafaelovich and you've been VFX Tutored.